Hi everyone, hi and welcome, welcome to your Tuesday evening. Uh, yes, thank you for joining me and I hope you're all okay. So today, uh, yes, yeah, so behind me, for those unfamiliar, that's Lulu, my French bulldog. She's back from her dog sitter uh, this afternoon. I sent her to the dog sitter just to get her, get her out from underneath my feet. And the dog sitter has a wee puppy that she now hangs out with. The dynamic is now flipped. I used to send her to the dog sitter so she'd, she could hang out with an older dog, but unfortunately that dog passed away. So the dynamic is now that she's the older dog and she hangs out with a little yappy puppy. And apparently she gets annoyed by it. She keeps that. She keeps having to sort of push it down and snap at it, like you know, but get in line basically. But yeah, she's happy as you can see. She's um, she came back with it. She's completely infatuated with the dog walker's husband. Uh, she, I don't know why, but when I say the name, his name, she just goes completely potty. Yeah, she's just totally and utterly in love with him. <laughs> but yeah, she's a happy girl. So yeah, how is everyone? Welcome. Hang on. Yes, uh, Ninja, the main menu soundtrack for The Forest 2 goes hard, doesn't it? I've been listening to this today whilst working. This is a proper banger of a theme. Hmm. Right. Hang on. Sorry, I've got... Fuck. I've managed to get honey all over the, the fucking handle of this mug. Uh, I, I, I swapped out some um, sugar for some honey, and I've made a mess of it. Hmm. Right. Hi there, Cyanide. I hope you're very, very well. I'm too old and too white to say that something goes hard. Yes. Yes, uh, it's been a while for me to... Uh, definition... Never mind. Hope you're very well, Cy. Or is that Maya? Is that Cy or Maya? Either, or, either way, to both of you, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely evening. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Right, hang on, sorry. I actually... I'm, fuck. I genuinely made a big mess. Sorry, do you mind if I just get a sponge? Hang on, fuck. Sorry, folks. Um, I managed to get honey onto my uh, dripping down off the handle of this mug onto my desk, so it was making it sticky, stickier. Right. So anyway, hi and welcome. Right. Mm. So, what's going on? So on the YouTube side of things, beneath this live stream is a tile which I need to update. It's the first tile. It's a Google sheet concerning my progress on uh, the latest bullshittery, which is Armour 3 Prairie Fire. That's Vietnam. So I'm getting quite far. There's about 40 to 50 issues remaining until the bullshittery is complete. So please bear with me. I'm, I'm polishing it to the best of my ability. I do want to forewarn, though, that I'm going to be naughty and I'm going to put the bullshittery up first to the patrons and the Twitch subs whilst I work on an optional flourish. I wanted to do a sort of intro, a musical intro. I'm going to do two versions of, of the bullshittery because that intro is going to get claimed up the bumhole. So I'm going to do one with the intro and one without so that people can obviously, you know, see one without any music on it. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll, 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 while that um, bullshittery soon is doing the, the rounds between uh, my Twitch subscribers and my patrons, I'll get on with that optional flourish for its public release. So please bear with me. Right. Hang on. Turn that up again. Sorry, I don't, I don't know why the... Listen, this, this isn't me doing this. I don't know why the main uh, menu slider for audio does a fapping sound. Right. Okay, so. Here we go. Thank you, Heituga, and Dingo, and Togel Tutar, and the Doctor, and Pandro. Oh. Thank you, Unknown. Oh, holy shit. Un Unknown 22AK for the tier 3. That's very kind of you, Unknown. Thank you. Thank you for doing that, Unknown uh, 22AK. Hmm. So, 
An update then. What's going on in Sons of the Forest? So for those who haven't played the first game, a super quick um, overview. The first game concerns a, uh, concerns a gentleman and his son crash landing in a strange forest where weird shit is unfolding. There are cannibals in that forest and they seem to be being influenced by these mysterious artifacts that what, are just here in the forest. This isn't the same forest. Hello. Wait, we're back here? Weird. So we're in a different forest to that of the original game, but nevertheless a very similar location. We too have crash-landed here into this forest, but I think we're the rescue party. Not for the original protagonist, but for, I think, the CEO and his wife of a corporation called Puffton? Puff Corp? I think we're a journalist, based on the fact that we had a press jacket that we were wearing uh, when we got off the helicopter after it crashed. I think it was shot down. I, 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 I'm guessing this because there was automatic weapons fire just before the helicopter went down in the sea over there. So, we've arrived to discover an extremely similar situation to the first game. So, cannibals are here and they roam the forest and they are fucking dangerous. There's also another couple of developments. The first one is that I'm not here alone. The Forest 2 features an NPC system. One of the survivors from the helicopter, his name is Kelvin, he made it. Although he's been badly wounded, he's deaf because, um, well, he's, I presume he's burst his eardrums. And this lady... She is very mysterious. She is a wild woman that, that is walking around the forest and eventually started to approach the camp. She is hideously deformed. And I think, based on her description, I think she might be the daughter of the CEO. I saw her picture on the laptop on the helicopter. Her name in the, on the laptop was Virginia, which would be a nod to the first game. The creatures with multiple limbs were called Virginias. She's getting used to our presence now. She's less frightened. She's off to clean her, or drink, maybe. She's not feral. She seems to remember how to dance. Who taught her how to dance? How much she remembers, I don't know. And we need to get her some clothes, because this is... Honey, can we, can we get you something to wear? Oh, she's smiling. Did she smile before? But yeah, so it's also worth noting that you see the multiple limbs that she has. I'm guessing that's exposure to one of these artifacts from the first game. An enormous obsidian looking obelisk. The weird part is though, it doesn't work on adults. She was 20 when she went missing about seven months ago. So, is there another obelisk here? Another strange device? And if so, who's fucking with it? Considering uh, Puff Corp is another pharmaceutical company, I'm guessing we might have a repeat. Another pharmaceutical company up to no good. One minute. The, the uh, audio is a bit too loud. Just going to turn that down to a smidge. Okay. So, one second. There are quite some cool flourishes in the forest too. For example, the inventory system is much cooler. Fully panable, you can see the background terrain. Yeah, it's quite, ne quite neat. Right. So for some reason I keep finding these skin pouches. I don't know how the cannibals are able to uh, learn how to make zippers. But apparently they can. They're gathering items. Berries, cash, an energy bar, bullets, duct tape. Cash, duct tape, a watch, a feather. Okay. Oop. So this morning... Oh, what have I done? No, I'm trying to combine it with a feather. This morning we went for an exploration to see what we could find. I managed to find other camps of, I'm guessing, other rescue teams. Again, it's not entirely clear. And sorry, ap apologies for the clarification. Uh, I'll, I'll be asking lots of questions in the chat, but they're more just... Um, 
Uh, they're not rhetorical questions. They're more just question, open-ended questions. I'm not. Lo I'm not looking for the answer. I'm not fishing for. Yeah, I'm just trying to um, articulate what's in my brain. For example, who is she? What happened to her parents? She seems. Look, look at her. She's so fucked up. And I'm super, I'm, I'm, I must admit, I'm very intimidated because, well, essentially I know what happens to those exposed. Hey, Kelvin, you alright? She could be way worse than she appears. <laughs> Kelvin's alright. Alright. So, hang on a second. Uh, let's, uh, I just need to make sure I've got sufficient arrows. Where are the arrows being kept? I haven't figured that out yet. I need to have a look and see if there's a count of arrows. Hang on. Also, as you can see, this uh, te well, this location that we built certainly needs more fortification, especially as large cannibal attacks come on in. I need to be able to seal it off entirely. Right. Grab some sticks. Grab some feathers. <clears throat> a red box. Red box. Oh, are they normally in there? The arrows? Cool. I'll give it a welly. Right. Put down some sticks. Put down some stones. Feathers. Okay. Make a selection of arrows. Yeah, uh, cool attention to detail in the sequel as well with the crafting. I like it. Instead of it just going plop, plop, yeah, ping and it just appears, you get these little crafting animations. I think they're quite neat. Okay, hang on a minute. Black box. No, maybe I'm just blind. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. Oof. Burnt flesh. Maybe it requires a quiver? Hmm. Thank you, Avenger. Thank you very much, Avenger. Oh, yeah, good point. Did I fail to save it? I saw it. I, I must have failed to save it. I don't have the new axe that I located. That's a pity. Oh. Oh, there they are. Thank you. But in the uh, in the in the lid of the black box. Okay, five out of five. Darn, that's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna have to locate that modern axe again. Right. Um, this time, Kelvin, could you stay here, keep her safe? Stay here, maintain the base. I can write notes, and he understands them. You stay here and be safe, man. I've got some stealth armor on, so that should hide me a little bit. One second. I do have how much cloth? I've got two bits of cloth. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. I can use some to make some stealth armor. Right. So let's keep looking. Shit. She's in danger. Oh, it's another one of these. It's a, it's a very specific type of tribe. Yeah. These strange painted men. Nope. He's going to try and jump on me. You okay? She's okay. What's she doing? No, I don't, th I don't think she can speak. The wife. Yeah, she's probably upset that I killed the husband. So we encountered these two before. These two specific tribals? I guess it did not save. Back away and let her get to the husband. Or just because she, no, she thinks she's just coming after me. No. Back away. What's she doing? She's angry. No, yep. Yeah. Back away. Flee and you get to live. Fuck. What's she doing? She might trick, trigger one of my traps. Whoop, we'll just run into a wall. <laughs> okay. It's kind of mesmerizing. I don't think this is the smartest tribe here on this island. Right. Uh, do you mind... God. Piss off! 
Get out of here. What is uh, really? Give me, give me that back. Give me that back. Ouch. Wow, she's tough. Can you save them? Let them go? I need that back, please. There we go. Yeah, they put work into the facial animations and stuff. Different behaviours. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? I think I'm just going to have to put this one out of its misery. Wait, thumbs up? She approved? She's smiling. Maybe she she stood behind me. Maybe she's assuming that I'm protecting her. That's Kelvin chopping down a tree. She did also bring me a fish earlier. Maybe she thinks she's teaching me. She's been surviving long long enough. Seven months, potentially. Okay. Fix this wall. So for those just joining, uh, yeah, Sons of the Forest, some cool new, yeah, so cool new elements compared to the first one. Notably, the first one had a system of building, which was essentially just place down an object and paint it. This one has more options insofar as what individual objects can do, such as logs that you can specifically position, both lengths, uh, both um, horizontally and vertically, like that, you see? And then adapt them. Like, essentially, it's almost like the building system has been slightly miniaturized. Not entirely. There's still lots of paint-by-numbers style buildings. But yeah, from there, you can then do lots of small things to them. It's quite cool. Like this. Make little spiky bits of the cannibals can't climb, I assume. I'll leave that to Kelvin. He can handle most of this. Right. I'm going to get out there and keep exploring. She should be safe here if she stays here. Right. So, let's go. Let's have a look at the map, then. So, I know that that marker over there, I know that that marker is a grave. Did we find out? No, we didn't get all the way. Let's continue then. Let's continue all the way up this pathway and see if we can figure out exactly what that marker is. So, I think I turned the game audio down too much there. Hang on. It's because it was raining. Thank you, the Etienne. I'll move without Kelvin. I'll leave him at the camp. I'm hoping in that way I'll be a bit quieter. If you crouch, there's now a, a, a stealth indicator on the HUD there. So you can actually determine how hidden you are, which I think is quite cool. So hiding in a bush, I'm very, very stealthy. Yes, we'll see if we can find that modern axe again. Uh, not sure, Zewolf. There is a way of checking, isn't there? Where does it show the... Uh, day 9, currently. So this is the third stream. So a brief recap is that my helicopter came down. I'm not sure who exactly I am. I assumed at the start of the game I'd be Timmy, the um, secondary protagonist from the first game. But I don't think I am. I think I'm a journalist. When we crash-landed... Oh, she's following me. Okay, so long as she stays safe. When we crash-landed here, uh, there was a guy on the, on the beach who ripped a vest that said press off of my chest, as in a journalist. And he said, who invited you here? But he did not kill me, nor did he save me. He just kind of knocked me unconscious and left me there. I don't know who he is. Big ones. It's a raccoon. We haven't caught one of those yet. We might be able to make something out of its hide. Oh, really? Oh, did I get it? I got it, I got it. Okay. Harvest stuff from the environment. What have we got here? I see. Oh, wait a minute. Raw meat. Maybe this wasn't human meat. Rotten meat. Drop that. I assumed that this was human meat, so I wasn't touching it. She seems trusting now. Okay. Wait, did it drop a hide that I could collect? A trophy. Raccoon head. 
Is this one of these punch a tree, dig a hole games? Sort of, yes. It is an open world survival game. But what I'm interested in seeing is the fact that the first game, not alone in this of course, the first game started adding story elements to it after its initial launch. So the forest was launched in, what was it? It was either, I think it was 2014, wasn't it? And then it was in 2018 or 19, I think it was, that it went full version, here's the story with the end game. And when I played it, it kind of melted my brain a little bit because the story was, um, well, spoiler warning to the video that I made, the story was unexpectedly tacked on. As in, it didn't feel like it interacted in any meaningful way with the world that it was a part of, which I sort of chalked down to a lack of planning. I wondered how much could you obviously change if your game world is already set, you know? So one of the things I'm fascinated to see about this particular game, and maybe it's annoying you, maybe it's not, um, I'll have to ask your forgiveness in that regard, is I want to see, sort of asking the questions, what exactly is going on here? Now that they know that there was going to be a story, is there going to be a notable difference? When I finish this game, will I be able to say, aha, you can see the strings of where it was all planned, you know? Well, I think the answer might actually be yes, because look. Oh, she's gone. They put in a new NPC system, and what did they do with it? A mysterious woman is following me around. And I'm guessing she's integral to the plot. So perhaps the answer is yes. In that the mechanics and story are interwoven a lot more tightly, you know? We're going to get to the end and she's going to follow, I presume. We'll see. We'll see. Shit. Where am I going exactly? I'm going in the wrong way, sorry. I'm heading to the wrong symbol. Yeah, we need to go this way. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a lovely day today. Uh, just cracked on with the bullshittery editing. It was fine. Uh, just got lots of problems to work through. Uh, over here? Yeah, just on with the routine, really. We'll see, Spectre. We'll see. I, I'm curious. Just a stick. Wait, open up my backpack on this pathway. I have four arrows remaining. I'm not sure. Till, uh, I, I, I know as much as you know. Uh, Tai Nai Lillian. I'm, yes, I'm interested to see um, how much has the studio expanded, if at all. I'd love to go through their dev blogs when I finish playing, yeah, playing this game through, if they have any. Yeah. Okay, this way. Oh, look. Seems I walked straight past a campfire. Cannibal camp. Tha ha ha says, I started a new job recently and my new boss doesn't want to give me big projects because she wants to ease me into the job. But you had nothing to do today. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it can be like that. Well, at least you're not being thrown into the deep end and fucking, you know, panic. Did I come here before? I don't think I did. Is that a waterfall, maybe? Must be. Then it goes off to the ocean. Interesting. Another cool location for a base. Thank you, Nav David. Maybe stick near the foliage in case we need to hide. I would rather evade for the moment rather than fight, for I don't have a huge amount of armor, nor powerful. Ugh. Oh, hello. Yeah, like them. Just trying to evade them. A couple of cannibals sneaking up behind us. Wait, the full eye? No, no, there we go. I wonder if these are the equivalent of skinnies from the first game. Really malnourished and fast-moving ones. They're having a drink at the water. Keep moving. Oh look, what the fuck? Oh my god! Holy shit, wait, where is it? 
It's not appearing, but it's here. Could that be the second one? Is that where it landed? There were two helicopters. Ours were shot down in the water. I'm just waiting for these guys to fuck off. I'd rather just avoid the fight. Can you put your own marks on the map? I don't know. No. Are they going to fuck off? Maybe not. There's only two of them for now. They probably don't have the numbers to challenge. So yes, I heard automatic weapon fire. I th Fuck. I think. Yeah. Puff Corp. Fuck. Nasty. Those, okay, yeah, yeah. Those ones are nasty. Holy shit. Okay. What did he do? He broke something. Jesus, he set himself on fire. Fuck. Damn it. I'm out. Am I out? Yeah, I'm out. Fuck. Got a few of these. Had a few of those. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck you. They don't they do not give a shit, do they? I only killed two of them. What happened to the other two? Okay, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Pull out the spear. Can I lift him up? Put this away. Lift him up. There we go. I got it. No, I don't. Hang on. So violent? I have to be. These guys will attack me on sight now. There we go. Got the spear. There we go. Spear. Put this away. Arrow. Arrow, arrow. What's this? It's, it's just a normal torch. It's a bone with a cloth around it. Okay, focus on this. They've been completely fucking torched. I presume in the crash, they didn't get far, did they? Two grenades. Stick a C4 and a grenade. Yeah, Jesus. They went crashing down fast. Then, yeah. They just burnt, they burnt to death. Or, you know, died in the crash. Is it Puff Corp? If there was a logo on it, it's been seared off. Okay, I'm guessing this just must have been the second helicopter. Fuck. Need to get out of here. Some vodka. Some batteries. And a circuit board. What's that say? Not sure. Quickly get some more arrows. Combine. Not sure how many I've got, but it's probably not enough. Right. Let's go. So I found... Yeah, we'll see if we find any additional helicopters. There could simply be other teams. Right. this? Aloe vera? Oh yeah, just eat it immediately, why don't you? New recipes. Damn it. I'd love to see what those recipes are, but I just ate all the aloe vera. God damn it. Do you reckon Darwin had this problem? Find new species immediately. Ah, it's a new species of praying mantis. Ah, is that one? No. Sorry, yes, it's me. I'm holding it. I'm holding E. That's the problem. 
rather than clicking. So the fault is mine. Okay, hang on. <laughs> yeah, rip the dodos, yeah. Oh, what's that orange thing? Over there. There's something over here. Let's go this way. Oh, fucking hell. Not you. Not you guys again. Fucking ducks. Okay, I mentioned that the first game had these weird artifacts of unknown construction. I'm convinced it's the ducks. In the first game, they were cursed. I presume in the second game, they're equally cursed. Teleporting through the terrain. Watching you, motherfuckers. Okay. Just keep moving this way. So we're still going... I need to sleep soon. Well, I know that there's a camp over there, so I could actually get... Th there's a tent in that direction. I could go there and, s and try to find the modern axe and also sleep in one of those tents. So anyway, for the people joining the stream, I hope you're okay. Uh, this is only the third stream. I appear to be a journalist who has, who has crash-landed in two helicopters that I think were shot down by persons unknown. And I think we, were, might, we might have been tagging along with a rescue team looking for three people. Someone called Edward Pufton, a CEO of Puff Corp. I think, is it Barbara? I think, the wife? And uh, I think the daughter. Um, I nearly said Victoria, not Victoria. Um, Virginia. And I think we've met one of the three. Okay, well, I'm losing the light, so we best hurry. Is that a cannibal or a raccoon? I really hope the antagonist of the game isn't, isn't called Puff Corp. It's like fighting the Marshmallow Dominion or something. Hang on. Should be a lake over here. Small lake. Anything of note? Some a tarp and a, yeah, on a tree. We might find things washed up, like rope. Uh, some wire and a circuit board. Uh, some raccoons scattered around. Let's keep moving. I should also, in case of emergencies, probably put one of these grenades on slot seven. Okay, my character's getting tired. How are we doing? We're close. A large river in the middle? Oh no. Is that a gorge? No, wait, we're okay. Oh, that is not a small river. Oh no, should be okay. I thought it was a giant raging thing. Okay, should be able to cross that. Well, I'm getting aisle flashbacks. Huh, <laughs> salmon. Okay, so just over here. And look, there's another marker. Is that another one of those golf carts, probably? For some reason, there are golf carts scattered around. And they're intact, and they have power. I found a logo on one of them that said something about... What was it? Hollow... Is this hollow something? Is there a, a resort here? Apparently the, apparently the island was purchased by Puff Corp. Was there formerly a resort? Or is there a corporate facility that uses golf carts to get around? Hollow Spring. That was it. Thank you. Oh, holy fuck. Thank, thank you, the Furlan um, Anthropist. Wait, no. The Fur... Furl Anthropist. Thank you very much, Furl. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. 
Oh, the philanthropist. Sorry, philanthropist. Thank you very much, philanthropist. That's very kind of you. Thank you for doing that. Oh, look here. Oh, she's here. Virginia's here. Is it a cave entrance? Looks to be. So yeah, these construction workers. I found a bunch of them. What's that in his hand? Is it just a light? Oh, oh my god! Oh, Virginia! Come here! Um, no wait, what is that? A spanner? Huh? Spanner? Spanner? Also, there's a light behind Virginia. Fuck. Hide. Fuck, 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 fuck. Virginia, they're coming. Can't fucking see shit. Can you can you see anything? Let me just give you the filter. Hang on. There's a filter I can give the stream, but I can't see it. So it should be it should be a little bit brighter for you now, but still pretty fucking dark for me. So if I fail to see something obvious in front of me, I apologize. So I can see Virginia walking through the trees over there, and I saw a light behind her, which I thought would imply that she were being followed. What was that? Sorry, what did I just find? A light bulb? Maybe I should eat, eat an energy bar to stay awake. Eat one of these. Okay. What did I find? Here, is that it? No, zipline rope. Thank you, 4-3. Here it is. GPS locator. Okay. Change icon. Oh, I see! TV, M, food, VIP. Oh, wow, okay, so I, I'm guessing this is how you put down the map markers. Goat, bandage, a radio, heart, cave, helicopter, question mark, X, K. I see. Gotcha, that, that would explain, I see! That's why we're seeing these things. They've got GPS markers on them. Okay. VIP. Well, she is, if she's the person we're here to rescue. So hang on a minute. Can I give this to her? Phrasing. Hang on. I suppose I should have said give it to her phrasing. Hang on. I guess I just, I just see if she'll wear it. See if I can approach Virginia. She's cleaning herself. We don't have long. Can I speak with her? Hi. Um, hang on. Fuck, I can't see. Quick. Would you trust me enough to wear this? I <laughs> just fling her. Okay. She does. Wait, she's beckoning? Beckoning. She wants me to follow her. And now I can, because of the marker. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Fuck, they hurt her. Damn it. Ouch. They're going to hurt me. Fuck, i got to get in the open. I can't see. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ouch! I'm gonna get killed here. There's a lot of them. Ouch! Where's my arrows? Ouch. I'm gonna die! Did I find any meds? Hang on. I did find meds, quickly. Eat the meds. Don't mind me while I'm just unpacking the backpack here. Fuck. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, God! Okay, back away. Fuck. I need the arrows that he's got in him. I see. He's trying to charge me with the antlers on his head. I'm, I got gotcha. you. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme. 
He does not want to die. Fuck. Watch out. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Shush. You want to join your friend? <laughs> ah! Bloody hell. Played like a fiddle. Damn it. Fuck. Wait. Were we captured a second time? We were. I see. So normally that only happens the once. Maybe it's because it's a different tribe? Okay. Yeah, I really need to get some proper armor. As you can tell. They're able to cut through my health my health effortlessly. And I really need a better weapon. Get that axe. Okay, wait until they're fully distracted. Not sure why they keep leaving me leaving me with an, with my knife. I see. That's where we are. There's Virginia. Okay, let's start heading back. I see. We're on the other side of the interesting thing of note. Right. So let's see if we can figure out what it is. I haven't slept yet. And my character's rapidly running out of energy. So, no more meds. i nothing. Thank you, Zilly. More arrows. Yeah, yeah. quickly try and get more arrows. How many do I have? I've got four. Of oh, four? Um, what's the, I, I guess I require a quiver, don't I? What happens if I try to make another stack? Does it just say five? You've only made one? It says... Fuck. Uh, eight. Okay, so I can make many. Right, let's keep moving. What does that indicate? King Oyster. There's an oyster? <clears throat> I can carry 20. Okay, I should definitely stop and make many then. Hang on. I've got, I've got the arrows for it. Well, arrows for some. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'm liking many things about the forest too. Holy shit. The little flair attention to detail that they've put into the inventory, the expansive new infantry system, the NPC system. Uh, they've certainly reworked uh, many, uh, many of the behaviours of the cannibals. Uh, the chat was critiquing me a minute ago for not finishing them, finishing them off fast enough. But honestly, honestly, I'm just finding it fascinating seeing what they do. I, was, I wondered if it was going to back away, if perhaps behaviour of the, of the cannibals would change if you let them live. Perhaps they would back off, maybe. I don't know. Poke the world to see what happens. Let's keep moving. Shit. Hold I when out of the inventory? Yes, indeed. I saw that from before. Not sure how that helps me. Unless it's just a quick, quick access for... Not sure. Not sure why I have a skull as well. How does use the skull help me? Boo. Scary. Hmm. Good idea. I should hot bar the meds as well. I need I need to find the meds to hot bar them though. Of course, yes. 
when I'm doing a bit of Shakespeare. Alas, poor Yorick. Right. I've got like a repressed memory. Jesus, like back in primary school, we had to do some Shakespeare or something. But we had to do it out in front of the stage, in front of all the parents. And I was fucking frightened. I was so frightened. Yeah, like totally a, a very shy child. And yeah, having to be sort of be pressured to do something on stage. And it was alone as well. It wasn't like, hey, you're part of a production. Like, I can't remember even... Re what was it? I was... I can't remember what I was doing. I was a single character who was meant to be reacting to something. Again, it was fucking primary school. It was like a repressed memory. Another one. Shit. Oh, fuck. I can't see shit. Can you see shit? I can't see shit. Oh god, another rep well, not really a repressed memory because I remember this. I remember um so we had like a a, a big I, I think it was like an end of year presentation and it was being done in a, in an enormous church and they needed they needed one girl. I think this was early secondary school. They needed one girl and one boy to be the speakers of of these lines that you would read out to like the entire assem and you would stand up on this tall pulpit, the raised bit where the, the priest talks. God, and for some reason, I don't know why, but I was selected to do it. No idea why. There's no way I'd volunteer for that shit. And so there I was, standing in front of fucking hundreds and hundreds of parents, reading out these lines in front of me, trying not to fuck it up. Oop. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I think I'm... Can they see me? <gasps> it's one of the massive guys with the golden masks. Oh, okay, they see me. I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I can't fight this. I cannot fight this. I definitely cannot fight this. So, for, so there, are, there are massive cannibals with strange golden masks. I wonder what they mean. I wonder where they got them. Move. Just keep evading. I need to get back to the camp. It's this way. Keep moving quickly. Okay. Fuck. Green? What's that green glow? Glow stick, maybe? Survivor camp? Question mark. What's that? Horse tail. Hide in this hedge for a second. I'm very thirsty. Do I have anything to drink on me? I've got a pot noodle. This this crazy man eats 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 dry pot noodle with a fork. I think this guy might be the savage. Wait, could this be the It is! The green light. What could it be? Hang on. It's the marker that was on the... M oh, shit. <gasps> what the fuck? Somebody dangling on a rope with a glow stick? Construction worker with a hard hat. And a torch. Parachute? No, I don't think so. Is it? GPS locator, maybe? Can I... This, sorry, this feels a mighty bit disrespectful. Can I throw... Where's the little stone? Wait, for some vodka? Why was he carrying vodka? Were you skydiving shit-faced? Give me this. Uh, sorry, this, apologies. This seems a mighty bit... Uh, <clears throat> How do I get up there? Maybe I should focus on getting back to the camp. I'm in no state to... It's just down the river. But I'm right here.
Need to drink something. Hang on. Why on earth game would that poison me? Fresh running water. Okay, over here. So for those just joining, this was one of the original three markers on my GPS when our helicopter crash landed here. Now the pilot said something about the last signal being 500 meters down and seven months ago, so it can't be anything to do with this. I don't know what these markers are. Oh, hello. No, it's, it's not a parachute. It's just a rope. What's that? Energy bar. Vodka. Some wine. What does it say on the wine? Don't know. Stand by. Let me just eat another energy bar. Suicide? Can I cut the rope? Equip. There we go, I can. Okay. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh, look. Black smoke over there. Best avoid that location. Probably a cannibal camp of some description. Yeah. Oh. Find Team B. One of three? Team B. Who's Team B? It's another GPS marker. Hang on to that. A, f a torch? Okay. A proper torch. That'll help quite a lot. Ominous music. Why? I see. Team B? Were they the other helicopter? Did you hang yourself? Did someone hang you? Put this away. Uh, how does one put this away? Light? There we go. I see. It replaces the lighter. Okay. Sweet. Right. Okay. Maybe that's what's in the grave then? Three members of the other team? One in the ocean? Uh, so, uh, so mm, just from a gameplay mechanical perspective, why would we be looking for the second team? Okay. So wait, was that not the other helicopter that went down? The one that we found? What helicopter is that then? Just some random Puff Corp helicopter that just landed? Okay. Let's head back to the camp. Where's Virginia? Is she safe? She's over there. She ran over there and stayed there. She was beckoning me to follow her. I'm going to go back to the camp first and see if I can get some... Well, I need to see if I can sort out some armor. I wonder if I can make some out of wood or something. I don't know. Let's go. I'm certainly a feeling underprepared insofar as health, weapons. Yeah, this is the river that leads all the way down. Okay. In fact, the modern axe should just be over here, if memory serves. I think. We followed a, f a flare, did we not? Look for a red, uh, red smoke. Thank you, Tree Smith. Thank you very much, Tree Smith. You have to be careful, because if I, if I, yeah, fucking 
if I die, then I, it's going to be a long load. Right. Ducks. Goddamn ducks. But yeah, hope everyone's good. Yeah, over here, really, just cracking on with the routine, just editing the latest bullshittery. There's about 50 issues left until it's done. As for the next bullshittery, I'll consider starting it soon. I've got a couple of video essay scripts that I wanted to pen, but I don't know if they're going to be any good. Short ones, mind you. So yeah, just down the river. Oh yes, of course, the other marker. We found um yeah, there was another there was another go kart. I see, so these markers are Yeah, yeah, well this is where we came before, we just didn't save it. Yeah, so these markers are indeed uh part of the uh as in it's, it's diegetic, they're GPS markers on equipment, aren't they? And is this is this the go kart with the the branding on it? Not this one. This one. Look. Hollow Springs. Okay, let's take the go-kart. So I wonder if there is a resort here somewhere. Really? Alright. Uh, there's no path here. Shit. Cannibal camp. Drift to the left. Hey, I wonder if they'll let you do a custom playlist. Deja vu. Okay. Pardon me. <laughs> no shit. Uh oh. I turn to my right and he's in the passenger seat looking at me. Okay. Cool, here we are. I've got two of the suckers now. Kelvin probably thinks I'm insane, by the way. Right. Off. There we go. Step out. Kelvin. Yeah, he's fine. For those just joining, he's one of the survivors that crash-landed with me in the helicopter. Okay. Has Virginia... Oh, there's no point asking him anything. He's fucking deaf. Hang on. Oh fuck, the cannibals put down one of their things. Right, okay, so he's maintaining the base and getting us more logs. Good man. Right, so my health is absolutely shagged. I really do need to find some medical anything. Okay, get some rest as well. I'm running on energy uh, bars. We'll rest in a minute when the sun goes down. Definitely save it. Right. Okay. So... Ah, oh, good. Bones. I managed... Yeah, so let's get some bones. So pick up some... Whoopsie. Making a mess. Sorry, don't show Kelvin. Right. So can I get some bone armor? Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at that. The trophies. Raccoon trophy. Yeah, we should certainly get like a small hut going, that's for sure. Um, where's the bones? They're over... Here. Right. Stack some bones here. 
What does that say? Sorry. Uh, green. I'm not sure what that means. Armor. Okay. The, 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 the orange is armor. Okay. So rope and duct tape. Okay. Uh, and rope. Damn. Only found the one rope. All right. Right. Put this on. Yeah, I'm completely out of armor. Rats. I've got a couple of bits of cloth, so I could apply some leafy armor, but that's not going to cut it, is it? All right. Move that. What does it say here? Bone armor. Tech armor. Interesting. Sticky bomb. Hmm. How am I going to sort out my health? Okay, Kelvin's busy collecting sticks and stuff. So before nightfall, let's just get some additional yeah bits of wood down. Yeah, I do need to seal it, don't I? Urgently. We need to prevent the cannibals from even getting in. I wonder if there's a gate. We need to let Virginia in. Right, hang on. So what I might do... If I move that trap back a ways, and then we'll seal this off entirely so they can't sneak in behind us, we'll put the traps outside the walls. Okay. Thank you, Kelvin. Oh, good point. Aloe vera. Yes, medicine. Damn it. I ate the aloe vera. Right, but at least I know, yeah, we can keep our eyes peeled for it. Right, where's Virginia? She beckoned me to follow her over there by the river. We found her initially by that small lake. I wonder what's over there. She wants to show me something. Okay, we'll go in the morning. Hang on. Right. Basket prepared. Anticipating that we're probably going to get jumped. Grab some feathers. Let me pick up a few small stones for the sake of arrows. There we go. You right, honey bunny? What? What's up? What you doing? Hang on. What you doing, sausage? You were very cuddly last night, weren't you? I woke up to find her snuggling close. She refused to move unless she got some attention. Hmm? You refused to move unless you got attention. Indeed. Yeah, she's a happy girl. She's a happy little thing. Okay. Uh, let Kelvin bring me fish for the cooking. Yeah, I, th I should make a fish trap, shouldn't I? Definitely. Right. I presume he... Yeah, he'll get some. So I'm just looking for stones to make arrows. Make sure I've got plenty. Because they're kind of crap, aren't they? Right. Move this, so this log wagon, pull this in here, right, put that there, lay the backpack on the ground, make a few more arrows, right, take them in half, there we go, takes a few seconds, easy peasy lemon squeezy, okay, so how many do I have now, oh yeah, what was that, for? sorry, I saw like a shock arrow or something funny, it was like I put a battery on an arrow and it did something. It's good. 20 out of 20 stone arrows. Battery. Shock stone arrow. Okay. So, two batteries. Was it wire? And a couple of stone arrows. Shock stone arrow. Two more of them. Are you being serious? Is this some Looney Tunes logic? Hang on. And a circuit board. Okay, what the... Okay. So what have you done? Right, so you... <laughs> you've taken a stone arrow, you've taken the batteries out of their packet, and you've run a wire going from them to the tip of the stone arrow. I... I, d I think you're, you're greatly overestimating how much electrical energy you're going to get from AA batteries, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, we'll uh, we'll try them out, shall we? If they like sizzle or something, let, let's see if they do, let's do like a lightning effect. Okay, here we go. No, okay. Be funny if they were going, dzz, dzz, you know, fucking arc lightning coming off the tip. 
Okay. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to have the video game logic section of this video essay. Because I think I'm going to go fucking mental. Right. Okay, so, before nightfall, so yeah, let me just, it's a bit boring, but let me just get some, uh, yeah, can I seal, seal off that back bit in particular, and then they can't get in behind us, and it should be a little bit more manageable at the front, so I'm anticipating we're definitely going to get attacked, hang on, whoopsie. Timber or uh, sweet. Yeah, what else is going on? Um, so work on the bullshittery. Flat's fine. Weather's rubbish in the UK, but it always is. Cleaning out the inside of my car because I've got a slight mold problem. Trying to keep the insides dry, and I'm struggling. These up, take these over here. Ilsa says, Cat buttholes are not so fun, chat. Uh, good to know, Ilsa. Not sure anyone in the chat wanted to know, apart from Oros, maybe. Right. Put this away. Run this over here. I missed her earlier post for context. I did? I see. What have I, whatever happened to the bungalow, Blackthorn? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of sitting in a chain, I'm afraid. For those unfamiliar, um, I've been reluctant to move out of this dingy little flat. Well, it's dingy now, but it wasn't a few years ago. I've been reluctant to move out of this flat ever since I became a full-time YouTuber because I'm anticipating that it's going to end, and therefore the flat is quite close to, the, to a station which would let me commute to London if I needed to find replacement work in software development. Anyway, so I decided to take the plunge and look into getting a place away from the station and was hoping to get a small bungalow. Lots of stress later, I found one, but the trouble is, I'm, everything's just kind of stalled now. I'm sitting on the end of a chain, and ahead of me, the, uh, the, the sellers need to find their own places. And if you'll forgive me for saying, the seller of the bungalow that I'm interested in, sorry, for, for the, any American viewers, a bungalow is a type of very small house with only one ground floor. Um, unfortunately, the seller seems to be quite skittish, and they've three times now, as far as I know, have pulled out of their own sales. For, fra at least in my opinion, fairly minor reasons. Let me just take a try this. Oh, wow! Oh, cool! You can actually lift up the entire trap. Oh, neat! Okay. So, in the prior games, you would have to repaint the entire thing. That's cool. Let's move the trap over here in such a way that we can get them when they try to come round. Like so. Right. I see it goes the other way. Okay. So. Yeah, so point this way. Again, not sure what the Looney Tunes logic is behind what exactly is propelling the trap, but here we go. Oh, this tiny stick? Okay. That tiny stick is propelling the massive trap. And this one does the same, but it has a bottle of vodka. So the target uh, explodes somehow. Okay. Yeah, like this, see? They get skewered, and then they get set on fire by vodka. Ooh. Right. So let's close off this gap here, right? Yeah, like this. Sweet. Get rid of this. One of the cannibals put this here. How's the game so far, Toby? Yeah, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I've been impressed so far. So this is uh, this is Kelvin. So one of the impressive new features is the fact that they've got an NPC system, and the NPCs seem to focus on uh, well, lots of things that you can do: gathering resources, maintaining and repairing, resetting traps. Uh, yeah, they tend to feed themselves. Um, Kelvin, uh, I think he's like the introduction to it, but 
In addition to that, there's a mysterious NPC that keeps walking around. She wants me to follow her. I wonder... I wonder if she is meant to be the this game's equivalent of Megan. A character from the first game that you only meet very, very late. Like, pretty much you meet her and the game's over. So I wonder if this is a... Wait, this way? If you're being introduced to her really early. Uh, no, I didn't parry. I didn't play uh, Sons of the Forest on purpose before its 1.0 release. I was told that it wasn't ready. And I wanted to give it time. Because I didn't want to rush in here and be like, Oh, you know. This thing does this and this thing does that when clearly it's not ready. What happened on the beginning of the game, Dex? So we were in a helicopter that was flying along the coast. You see that mark of the helicopter? When something happened... We, there were two helicopters, and I heard a low thud, which I think was automatic weapons fire. I think we were shot down by parties unknown, for reasons unknown. And I think we're a rescue team. I think we're here to try and rescue three people. Alright. Uh, get a few more logs. I just want to seal that, that back way off before I go to bed, because, yeah, we're almost certainly going to get attacked. We were also intercepted on the beach by an unknown man with a pistol. He was wearing a white, like it was like a bomber jacket. It wasn't a robe. We found cultists on the island wearing white. I don't think he was one of them, or at least he wasn't wearing one of their robes. And he didn't kill me. But he didn't try to help me either. He, he in fact attacked me. He kicked me and then pistol whipped me. We also found a note in the camp, which I fucked up and I didn't I didn't save it properly. But the camp said something like... Uh, it was an employee of... A, a, I think it was a, an employee of Puff Corp. They were asking who was... Was it something Colt or Holt or something? I wonder if that could be him. I wonder if this island has an intruder, him. Could he be our man in red from the first game? If you know what I mean. Don't know. Many questions. Yeah, that was it. Jack Colt? Jack Holt? Something? We'll see. Uh, right, let's go. Oops. Sorry, again, speaking to the chat. I, I, I'm, I'm not fishing for the answers. I'm just kind of speaking out loud. Cool, the base is coming along now. Well, I think I put the bench backwards, didn't I? Right. Let's sleep and then go and figure out what happened to Virginia. And I still need to sort out some armour or something. I've got no health. In a fight with fucked. Thank you, Kelvin. Appreciate it. Is my buddy brain damaged? Yeah, he had a head injury during the crash. I think it's already been joked a few times that it's probably a clever way of hiding any weird NPC behavior. Like that. Oh, no, okay. Nice. There we go. I'll do this one. Okay. So briefly, I wonder if I can augment these throwing spears with something. Hang on. Can I combine them? No. Cannot combine the spear. Cannot craft anything on the club. It won't let me combine it, placing it in the middle. Okay. So I guess we've just got to go to sleep and see what happens. What about the vodka? Combine. Molotov. Firestone arrow. Holy shit. Okay. Firestone arrow. Let's get a couple of those. Doesn't require a circuit either. Cloth. Four four arrows. Right. <laughs> 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 
Dude! Just open the bottle! What? Why get broken glass all over your backpack? Just open the lid! You could, you could open the lid and put the arrowheads physically in the bottle! I think this guy is deranged. Genuinely, I think this guy is absolutely mad. Okay. Right, save it. Yeah, I think my guy's brain damaged as well. Right. Sleep. Oh shit. Yeah, you're right. Cook the meat. Well, that doesn't help. It's the night time. Okay, cook the meat. Cook the meat. I've got a fireplace here. I thought this was an oven, but evidently it's not. Cook the meat before it goes bad. Uh, is that it? Can I not cook it because it's too big a fire? I think so. Darn. Over here then. I can't see shit. Did I leave the filter on during the daylight? Sorry. Hang on. Cook the meat. I'm starving and I'm hungry. Right. Uh, yeah, has it already gone bad? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, we'll go find some fish. First... Oh my god, what the fuck? Snow? Okay. Didn't know it was going to snow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're kidding. It can snow? Hang on. Drink something. Wait, the trees were changing and turning orange? There are seasons in the game? You're kidding. Fish, 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 fish. Fish. Oh, I'm getting cold. I see. Okay, that's really interesting. Raw fish, raw fish. There we go, put it on the fire. But we've only been here like 10 days. How fast are the seasons? Okay. Oh, cooked already? Cooked fish, there we go. Now, I don't know why he eats fish. For new joiners, I don't know why he does this. Uh, I... I have no idea what's going on there. Right. So, let's go to bed. Wow, it is snow. Is that snow? Oh my god, how cool! Oh my god, our shelter is woefully inadequate. Who triggered the trap? Oh. Who triggered the trap? Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay. That works. Okay. Can't carry any more crafted spears. Uh oh wow, he reset it. Good man. Oh god, his head came off. Jesus. I knocked him into the trap and it knocked his head clean off. How cool is this? Sorry, I'm just... They put in seasons with snowfall. I wonder if that makes it quieter to move around. Oh god, I'm going to freeze moving around. Shit. Yeah, shit. What about Victoria? Is she okay? Is she warm enough? Okay. Why is the chat reacting funny when I said Virginia? Sorry, what did I say? Did I fuck it up? Did I, did I say Victoria? Sorry, I meant Virginia. Did I say Victoria? Sorry, I meant... Yeah. Do you know what, do you know what it is? I keep thinking thief. I keep thinking the, 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 the dryad lady from the forest from Thief. 
the pagan. Okay, hang on. Put this away. Right. Okay, so, do I have any cloth? One piece of cloth. No, wait, it's duct tape that I need. Okay, so I should be able to get some armor now. So let's get some proper armor. Right, bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh. Plenty of boshes. Bone armor. What do I require? Uh, oh no, it's the rope. Rats, you're right. Damn, I don't have the rope. Fuck, I'm freezing. Okay. No longer freezing. Okay, save. Am I going to be able to survive or am I just going to fucking freeze to death? Okay, I can't sleep. Because it's the daytime. Is it? No, because my energy level's high. Okay, I think we need, we need to make a bigger fire. Jesus Christ. Okay, hang on. Equip. Stick. This is very cool. Holy shit. Equip stick. Right. Uh, that's the... Yeah, hang on. Yeah, when is the rescue team gonna arri gonna arrive? Okay. Chop this here. Kelvin. Don't stand in the fire, mate. Uh, what am I doing? Drop this down. Chop it in the middle. Stop. Stop. Right. Put this here. Can I, there we go. We place, split it in the middle. Make ourselves a much bigger fire. Right. Split this here. Thank you, Hangarona. Thank you very much, Hangarona. So yeah, you've now got these contextual cues. Okay, so that doesn't work. Put that down. Is it the half or the full? No, it's the full log that we need. Okay, there we go. Big bonfire. Try to make this place warmer. I guess we do need to make a hut. Oh look, is the snow going to melt? No, it's just the way my feet's moving on it, isn't it? That the snow's growing back. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. That's very cool. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should start making a hut. Keep forgetting the music. Oh, that's Kelvin. Let me go and find Virginia. Can I move away from the fire without freezing to death? That's the question. I'm in the snow. He's fine. <clears throat> right. Yeah, torch. Would that keep me warm enough? Okay, save it, and then I'm going to go and see if I can find Virginia. Is she still okay? She's still up by that lake. Okay, so what, what exactly did she want to show me? New save. Here we go. Let's go. Maybe I should take the... Uh, we'll be no, it's not that far, and we'll be we'll be more incognito with the, without the golf cart. Yeah, I'm worried about her. She's gonna be fucking cold. Hang on. We need to get some clothes. Right, torch. Here we go. Right, equip. Like this. Right. Let's go. Yeah, this is very cool. So this this is the path where I was before. That's the camp, the cannibal camp up there. And this is where I was attacked by that dude wearing the gold mask, wielding the boat propeller. So let's not go straight into the cannibal camp. Let's go around. So she's over here. 
Keep your eyes peeled for aloe vera, whatever it is. Spiky plant on the floor. Need to find some if we're going to make some medicine to get my health up. Try not to touch the water. Ah. Oh, ew, Jesus. Grim. Is it possible to track footsteps now that there's snow? Good question. Maybe the cannibals can follow me. Hmm. Where is she? She's this way. Okay, this way. Let's beeline it straight to her. What happened to... G oh, yeah, good point. I did grab that. No, no, damn. I grabbed the pot, but then I didn't save it. Rats. So we need to go find that modern fire axe and the pot. Which I'm hoping would let me boil water. And get some fresh water. Yeah, I like... Oh, hello. Shit. Yeah, it's a group. Big group. Let's go. Keep moving. Right, she's straight ahead. Hmm. So I wonder, sorry, thinking out loud, don't answer this don't answer this question for me. I wonder if this is site B that Timmy from the first game was looking at in the end in the end credits I wonder if we might encounter either of our original protagonists from the first game is it possible that they've come here will we be a third character that is going to stumble upon them I too thought we were Timmy, but now I'm not so sure. I would have expected the game to have done something to have indicated it by now. We looked at our wrists briefly on the helicopter and it had a tattoo that said kill demons for some reason. But our, our wrists weren't wobbling or doing any weird mutant shit that would indicate the consequences of the first game. I also wonder, as I've mentioned before, if perhaps the big decision... Oh, it's frozen. Huh. I wonder if the big decision from the first game is going to come up in some fashion. Hang on. Drop this. Cooked fish. Eat this. Alright, I do need some water. Is that just a cannibal making noise? So Virginia's over here. She's moved slightly, hasn't she? No, I'm not so sure. Just hope she's warm enough. There's that lake. So according to the GPS, she's on the other side of the lake. The dotted line, is that the path she's tracking? That was an eerie sound. Did you hear that?
No, she's moved over. Oh no, I've moved. Did I just went th go the wrong way? I must have done. Okay. So for those just joining the stream who didn't see it, this mysterious woman turned up fairly soon after we set up the first camp. I assumed she was some feral mutant, but I think she might actually be one of the three people we're here to rescue. She seems functionally mute. She's trying to commu- wait, she's gone into the water. Oh no, onto the ice. So she was trying to communicate with me by gesturing to get me to follow her when I put the GPS marker on her. So I guess she understood. Is that her? She understood that I could follow her. There she is. Oh, a boat. What the fuck? Are you okay? How are you not freezing your tits off? Uh, is this safe? What are you doing? It's freezing cold. Fuck. Hang on. Back away. I know, I know, I know, I know. Try one of these new fancy fire arrows. I know, Tomai. She's hideously mutated. You okay? Yeah, gesturing. What does he want to show me? That noise again, did you hear it? Creepy. Badly damaged. Is she pointing at... What is that noise? Something's howling. Is she pointing at the waterfall? Is there something underneath the waterfall? Behind it, maybe. That. No, I just see a rock face. Maybe it is the boat. If I touch that, I'll fucking freeze. At least it's water that I can drink. Let's quickly have a drink. Can you hear that howling? Is it just the environment? There's nothing on the boat. Maybe I've misunderstood. Smoke. Is it the smoke? No, she wasn't pointing at the smoke. Virginia, what was it? Yeah, she must be fucking freezing. I'm trying to get her to gesture one more time. 
One second, let me try and interact. Hang on. If I do this to say contextually interact. Okay, and then close it. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Okay, she knows the thumbs up. What is she indicating? So she's not completely feral. What does she remember? Hang on. For some reason I, I can give her a firearm. That seems like a profoundly bad idea. Not sure why she bought me here. Maybe I should search the, lo the local area. She was pointing at something over there. What have I missed? Oh yeah, maybe you're right. Ma there is fire in the long distance. Maybe she was pointing at that? Maybe she stood here. What is that noise? She pointed over there, didn't she? I need to be careful. I'm in no shape for a fight. Where is she? She's staying back there. I think I'm going off the beaten path here. We'll keep exploring regardless. Anyway, sorry, for the people just joining who are not sure what they're watching... Oh shit, more cannibals. So my character crash-landed... I was with two helicopters that went down, south of here. Two survivors, me and a guy called Kelvin. Oh, screaming cannibals. So Virginia's staying back there. I'll just stay hidden for now. A war. Yeah, that's a combat group, isn't it? They can't see me. Just the one. I see, he's following the path. No, I must have failed to understand. Where am I? So I haven't been this far to the yeah far to the uh, west before. Let's pr 
track this way and see if we can see anything out, out into the distance. Was she pointing out to the marker in the in the uh, out in the ocean? I don't know, but from a gameplay perspective, that would be weird because that marker already exists for me, and I'm pretty sure that's Team B, isn't it? Why would she be pointing out there? Look. Aha. Inflatable life raft. Oh, hold on a tick. Do you think, you know, at the very... Ah! You, you know when I started the game and I d failed to close the laptop, does that determine your crash position? Good, some rope. I can make a piece of armour. Two more of these boats. A life jacket. Coins, maybe? Yeah, some coins. Just a barrel. Quite a few of these camps all over the place. What are those? Tro um, markers? Sorry, I keep forgetting to turn off the filter. I really should, just in case I want to edit the footage later. There's the nighttime filter on. There we go. Yeah, look, it's a life raft. Must be Team B. I can't get there, though. Okay, my character's getting tired again. Hmm. Doesn't feel like I'm making much progress. Right. I could swim to it, but I presume I'd freeze, wouldn't I? Am I going to freeze? In winter, swimming in the ocean seems like a very bad plan. Am I going to freeze? Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> okay. You know what? Hang on. Maybe let's not for, for a minute. That's genuinely unsettling. Um, maybe I can get a rebreather. And maybe like a harpoon or something. Before I swim in the probably shark-infested murky water. Please be meds. Please be oh, it's just a bucket. Wait. Tins? Open food tins. Who was eating tins of food? Did someone make it ashore? Ah, rope. Good. Alright. Oh god, I'm shivering. Okay. So yeah, maybe I should get the rebreather, or at least wait until it's clearer so I can see any sharks. Okay, let's track back to the base. Need to get some more sleep. Yeah, get a yeah, I do have a torch. Where is it? Let's get that relit again. Right. There we go. Yeah, cool. The winter seasons are very very cool. Okay, I definitely need to go get that modern axe, don't I? Oh shit. Mm. More of their grizzly effigies. Jesus Christ. They're certainly creative, aren't they? Okay. Right. 
Which way? Follow the GPS. Yeah, we'll travel straight through. Is that a cannibal? No. Definitely need, yeah, I need to get into the caves, but I, I felt woefully ill-equipped. With additional types of arrows, though, including some Molotovs, which I've got, yeah, I've got some vodka. Maybe I'll, I'll feel, well, feel more capable. Right. Is the game good? So far, so good. It seems uh, a lot more polished than the first entry. A lot, a lot more uh, interesting mechanics, including NPCs. And it's also, uh, in, it's still infused with mystery. Particularly the identity and nature of a mysterious girl that keeps turning up. We put a GPS tracker on her. She's over there. I'm worried about her because she's probably cold. Hope she comes back to the fire. Okay. Is the girl not following me anymore? No, she's she's sitting by the lake. I was I was wondering if if perhaps she was going back to her camp, but instead she was standing in, in the middle of a frozen lake, pointing at a boat. Yes, she was weirdly okay with me putting a tracking device on her. And she understood what it was. Okay. Well, if we're going to escape this place, let's make sure there's a place for her. Not sure what she'd do for a living. Well, I presume ballet. She can dance. She'd certainly be unique to look at. Yeah, the circus. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Okay. Do you think they'd let... Yeah, do you think they would let her uh, run in the Olympics... Or would that be cheating? Is this a different lake? No, it's this... Ooh. Is that just ambient sounds for the ice? Because that's fucking creepy. She's she's there. There she is. You okay? That doesn't sound like ice. Check. I think there's something underground making noise. Shit. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Did I get him? Nope. Oh wait, am I meant to- Oh shit! Shit! This thing can kill me really easily. Fuck, 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 leave her alone! Oh shit! Damn it, I'm wasting all my- Oh my god! It worked! What the fuck? That's what a double-A battery does? She okay? 
she's okay. She's no longer showing me what she wanted to... Yeah. Okay, I'm heading, I'm heading back to the camp. What's that in the middle of the ice? Oh, fuck me! Jesus! You little bastard! Really?! That's your idea of trying to sneak up on somebody, building a pile of leaves in the ice. Is it? Right, okay. Well, I've wised up to your shenanigans. Combine, right? Ah, oh, I don't have a cloth. God damn it. I can do this, though. Fucking... Right, motherfuckers. You think you're clever? Do you? You think you're clever? No. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't feel clever. There we go. Damn it. Got away with my arrows. Shit. Okay, there's a bigger group. Let's go. Right, I, I gotta run back to the, uh... Gotta run back to the camp. Shit. Where is the camp? This way. Yeah, this bow does feel kind of pathetic, doesn't it? Yeah. I need to get the modern axe. I need to get some decent bone armor. Okay. True, I suppose. Like, insofar as, uh, uh, as far as traps go, I did fall for it, didn't I? I approached the leaves inquisitively, like, Ooh, what's this? Okay. Right, back we go. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. So yeah, what else is going on? Um, yes, as I mentioned over the weekend, I uh, took the dog to a park that I'd, I don't normally go to. It was a forest. Uh, and uh, me and Lulu went through a foresty trail. The downside is it was pissing it down with rain. So that trail was muddy as hell. The dog got completely caked in mud. And um, and then, yeah, cleaning out the car was fun. Also, just like the forest, a strange woman approached me from the trees. A woman was sort of acting suspicious, hiding behind a tree. This woman did not have three legs and three arms. Oh, shit. But she approached me from the trees and told me that apparently she was playing a game. She was part of some sort of, like park-wide, forest-wide, geotagging, hide-and-seek thing. And she was one of the people hiding. And she wanted to know if she could walk with me, pretending to be a dog walker, from a distance, hiding in plain sight. I thought, yeah, sure. Considering that park is very close to a large university, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me to, to, to learn that they're bored students. So yeah, so we just wandered for a bit, and uh, I presume they're still playing to this day. Oh, maybe that's what this is. Maybe I've horribly misinterpreted the situation. These people are just LARP. Yeah, this is just another fucking LARP, isn't it? They're geo. Yeah, of course there are there are GPS tags everywhere. It's a geo tagging fucking hide and seek game. <coughs> These are just Halloween fucking decorations. See? These aren't real. Just really convincing plastic. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> yes, moist plastic that smells really bad. Shit, where's the camp? Have I missed it? No, there it is. Alright, let's get back to the camp. 
So I need food. I need a reli yeah, reliable source of food and water. I had the water, but it fucking froze over. All right. I certainly need armor, so more rope. No, I went into one cave, KY. And um, I got killed. Because I was not ready for it. Right. So, Kelvin, I'm back. Hello. Yeah, we should definitely visit the cave again. Can I climb in here? I can. Hey, Kelvin. Um, damn it, it's completely frozen. Um, can I light the torch on it? Does it melt? <laughs> uh, we've got a bit of a pickle here. Do I put it near the fire? Hang on. I guess so. Hang on. Go fucking... Sticks. Sticks. Right, here. Put this here. Under it? Near it? Put some sticks there. Sticks there. Light the fire. Thank you, Dracoy4. Does that melt it? No, maybe it's just shagged. Yeah, I need to go find that pot. Okay, we'll probably go get the snow... Yeah, we'll go get the snow... Um, snowmobile. Go get the golf cart and go up to where we found that axe. I need it. Okay. So first, sleep. In a minute. Get food. Right. Do I have any fish in my inventory? I do not. Fish, 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 fish. We should put down a fish trap as well. Hang on. So go here. Pick these up. And definitely make a much better fucking shelter than that shit. Right, so. Fuck. Bone storage. What have we got? Stick path, stone fireplace, birdhouse, scarecrow, sled, wall planter, uh, rock storage, large log storage, stone bone storage, firewood. What's that? Spear rack. Okay. Drying rack, armor rack, arrow storage. Ah, lots more options this time around. Okay. Looking for... Is it traps? Traps. Fish trap. Here we go. Right. Nope. Nope. There we go. Fuck. Don't freeze in the water. Thank you, Mother of Mid. Thank you very much, Mother. Fish, 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 fish. Fuck. Don't freeze. One fish. How many can I how, how many can I get at the same time? Stick. There we go. Oh god, what the fuck? How long is how how long have these two been sitting here? Cool. What's Kelvin doing? Drinking? Yeah, just drinking. He's alright. Okay. Okay, let's get the get these fish cooked. Oh fucking hell. Wait, are the cannibals doing this? Kelvin, you're not building these effigies, are you? Fuck's sake. I come back and he's got like fucking huge... ...display. Hey man. You doing alright? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Get the fireplace lit. Oh, fuck me. Put it here instead. Or is it too big? Uh, yep, it's too big. Gotta use a smaller one. 
I need to opt. Yeah, I definitely need to optimize the base. I put a big, de a huge fireplace and a massive bonfire in weird places. Hang on. There we go. Like this. Right. Then put this here. Nope. Wrong button. E. Put the fish in the fire. There we go. Okay. Maybe I should sleep and then eat when I wake up. Have a quick drink. There we go. So yes, also today, for prepare, uh, on preparing dinner, I had lots of chicken that I had to use or, or throw it away. It was on the sell-by date. There we go. And so what I did is I uh, took the chicken and uh, put some oil in a frying pan. I coated the chicken in some flour. Sorry, I just said I was going to save it for after I sleep, and then I just ate them both immediately. Mm. So I put them in flour, uh, all of, all of the uh, chicken breasts, and then I... Um, Put them in some egg yolk, wi uh, sorry, some whisked beaten eggs, and then I put them in bread. So I breaded the chicken, and then what I did, I put half of the chicken in the um, the pan, and the other half in the air fryer, with a bit of salt and pepper. Whoop. I was curious to see what would taste better. The verdict: the pan fried stuff was much better. The uh, the air the um, air fryer made it quite dry. It was fine, edible, but yeah, pan fried is much better. Okay. There we go. Sleep. Okay, I got, yes, yeah, so I got plenty of rest. I hope it's the morning. Right, so, let me go and sort out this axe problem. Can I just quickly make some armor with the rope that I've got? Combine, combine. Duct tape. And some bones? I don't have enough of them. Here, grab some bones. There we go. Thank you, Guna010 and Mesh and Mother of Mid. Thank you, all of you. There we go. Okay. Combine. I don't think so, Tometra. Combine. Combine. Cool. Did a slight change in pitch each time. Right, where? Uh... What happened to the other two pieces? What the fuck? Yeah. Where and where? There we go. So I've got a bit of protection now. What's that? Is this aloe vera? Horse tail. What does that do? I dare not touch it. Uh, shit take. <laughs> Shitake. Uh, eat one of these. Ooh. Don't eat those. Right. Okay, save over the last one. Okay, here I go. So I'm back in a second. Uh, dude, are you that fucking cold? Is your scrotum frozen? You know what? You do you. Let the man cook. Literally. Back in a second. Here I go. Let's go. Instead of just constantly babbling about it, let me go get that damn axe. This is cool. Yeah, the game does feel like a huge upgrade over the Forest One. Again, I'm fascinated to see if the pieces fit together. At the same time though, you know, maybe maybe when I get to the end of this road and the answer is no. Maybe they're not trying to. Which, at least in my opinion, would be a huge missed opportunity. Because as you can tell, I'm really enjoying this. I, I like my open world survival stuff. And when it's infused with mystery, ooh, it really does it for me, you know? 
So what does this mean? Oh, and then when it cuts, when it fits together like a jigsaw, you're like, oh. Yeah, immer it, uh, immersive. Put yourself in the shoes of somebody. Uh, sorry, pardon me. Sorry, 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 sorry. So we're looking for a red flare. Out of the way, out of the way. Oh wait, isn't this your camp? Sorry. Driving through your home. No, I went this way. Do you remember? Because we had, um, we had uh, Kelvin with us. And then where did I go? Did I go this way? Because we looked at the bulldozer, didn't we? Oh yeah, that was it. We went up from the bulldozer, didn't we? So we went over here, investigated the bulldozer, got attacked by the, the fat couple. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. And then we went up the hill. Whoops. So leave it here for now. I'll be back. Okay, here we go. So then, I was e eager to see what the dotted line would mean, but I didn't realise it was just Kelvin's footsteps. So we went up here. And that's when I spotted there was a... There was a torch. Uh, a flare, rather. Where was it? It was this way, I think. Because we were av avoiding that camp? Okay. Where was it? Not in the cave. I think it was over there. Right. Anyway, for the... Wow, uh, sorry, there's quite a few viewers. Welcome, everyone. For those joining, especially those eager to know... Um, yeah, so me playing this, having done the big video essay on the forest, what I think. Um, too too early to tell, but uh, yeah, the game does feel like it's also infused with mystery. I've got many burning questions. Fuck. About a lot of the things the cannibals are doing. Oh. But mostly about the girl. My health is quite low, and I don't want to lose this new armor. Thank you, Crossvok. Thank you very much, Crossvok. So where was it? Where was that red flare? Thank you, Red Dunes. Thank you very much, Red. Not sure. More grizzly displays. Aha! Here it is. Found it, but there's no red flare. There he is. A survivor. For now. I see. It's just not making smoke. Maybe because it's winter? He's very badly wounded. I find him. I didn't have any medical supplies to help him. So did the cannibals attack these men? This man has a, a modern axe buried in his rib cage. Did they attack each other? Okay, I found some meds. Yes, this was the note that I found earlier. Who is Jack Holt? What is he doing here? Puffton didn't have any friends. Chuck. Chuck Dagger to 
Jian, uh, Jian Yu Zhang? Lawyer. Dot law, lawyerlaw.com. Teo Lol Haya? Who's Jack Holt? I don't know who Jack Holt is. Maybe he's the guy who hit pistol whipped me back at the coast? I don't know. Maybe he's this game's version of the Red Man. Good, some energy drinks. I'll grab those. Some vodka. I'll grab those. Sticks of C4. Why would they have C4? Flares. Solar panel. Solar panel collected. What can I do with that? So they've got a mobile solar panel. I can I can merely equip it. Oh look, the dude's frozen in the lake now. Grim. Okay. What's that? Stuff buried in the snow. Supplies. I've already got a radio. Can have two. Batteries and a zip line. Duct tape and a zip line. Did I get the pot? There, the pot. Here we go. So I'm hoping I can use this to get some fresh water now. That gas stove would also be quite useful. I can't seem to pick it up. Since I have a surplus, hang on. The C4. C4 brick, combine it with what? Uh, explosive stone arrow sticky bomb. Huh. Okay. I think I've got extra. Hang on. Make a sticky bomb. So C4 brick. Just the one. What does it say? So a watch wire rope. Oh, wait. Do I have the rope? No, it's duct tape, isn't it? Uh, watch and then coins and a circuit board. Where are the coins? Coins. And a watch. What's this here? Not sure. I'm blind. Where are what? Here, I've got loads of them. Here we go. Fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's quite charming, isn't it? Uh, I like that. Okay. A sticky bomb. Right. Uh, let me put the modern axe on slot one now. There we go. Right, so at least I've got some... What's that? Just a piece of the backpack, I think. Okay. A uh, piece of wire. What is that? Tarp. Don't think I need the tarp for anything. Thank you, Rai Shai. Okay, so at least I've saved. I failed to save it last time when I was here. Okay, so let's get back to the golf cart. Oh, there's some more stuff, sorry. I want, oh, I'm just thinking, where can I find more rope? Keep my eyes peeled for any camps. This place is huge. Yeah, save again before I leave. Yeah, shit company. Right. Yeah, we'll work our way back to the golf carts. Have a drink. Have an energy drink. Energy drink. Have one of these. There we go. <laughs> Dude! Don't just flick. This guy's a bit of an arsehole. All right. So yeah, um, Virginia, so she pointed at something. And I've yet to figure out exactly what she was pointing at. Let me also take some meds. Good, I found two. Okay, I'm a little bit more equipped to go into a cave.
With a bit more rope, I can make more armor. Hello. Someone's getting arsy. Let's move. Let's go back to that golf cart. This way. I see it. Suppose also the cannibal camps that I, yeah, around here will have rope, won't they? And cloth as well. Good point. Maybe we should pay one a quick visit up here. There is one up here, is there not? I saw a smoke trail. Yeah. So long as we don't get into too much trouble. What's up here? Could this be the camp that belongs to that the, the fat people tribe? You know the two fat people? When I came to this area, that's where I first encountered them. I wonder if they're specific to each area. Thank you, no, um, no time for pool. Thank you, no time. Let's have a look, nice and careful. How many arrows do I have? Looking at the top of this box, I have one, uh, one shock arrow, two fire arrows, and eight stone arrows. Can I make a few more stone arrows just in case this goes south? Uh, what am I missing? A single rock, there we go. Right, and also, let's get a grenade. Again, just in case things go south. Okay, they're already on seven. So I'm here for rope, maybe cloth as well. Ah, oh, this is where they tie people up. <laughs> the rope's just there and ready. Shit, hello. What is he doing? Oh shit, I wasn't crouched. I thought I was crouched. Mm -mm -mm. I'm here to steal your shit, don't mind me. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> nope. So he's covered himself in human skin with intestines wrapped around it to hold it onto him. Fucking hell. Move quickly before his friends get back. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Men, not cannibals. Drinking alcohol. Was this originally not their camp? Steps behind me. Another cannibal. Fuck. <laughs> Ouch. Fuck. Right, okay. There we go. Pulling pin on this. Three, two, one. Fuck, I missed it. Okay, that got their attention. Okay, this works. Oh shit, bloody hell! Holy shit! Okay, you're scary. There's many of them. Oh no, I'm sorry. She's mourning him. Oh, the cannibal behaviors are very cool. Look, she's extremely upset. A loved one. Okay, they don't want me here. <laughs> Fuck, I feel like a piece of shit.
I came here and I fucking look. She's she's bawling her eyes out over the body of her lover, I assume. Fuck, that really sucks. Yeah, looks like I'm the fucking, you know, came to their home. Let's just go. Okay. The golf cart's down here. So yeah, what exactly are they? I mean, I, I asked this question a plenty in the original forest, and the answer that I got was "bleh." I wonder if, in well, in the, in, on the conclusion of this story, if perhaps it goes into more detail. Well, I presume that the cannibals have something to do with the artifacts, the obelisks. For this is the second. Well, no, I don't know. I'm making lots of assumptions. I assume there is an obelisk here, one of the weird mutating items. Batteries. Uh, from the first game, and I assume that because Virginia is here, and she's mutated. So if there is an obelisk here, then I presume that the cannibals must be being caused by these obelisks, these artifacts. Because why else would there, there be two separate islands with cannibal tribes? Hang on. This way. Yes, all that, Titty. That's another possibility. Some of them were wearing shirts and stuff. And I think they might have been originally wearing them. Maybe they're modern people that have gone crazy under the influence of the obelisks. Sorry, for those who are li yeah, aren't sure what I'm talking about. In the first Forest game, there were these enormous subterranean, almost like obsidian artifacts. So large, they couldn't really be realistically moved. So, a pharmaceutical company built its operation beneath the island, literally in the caves, sealing them off from the cannibals who presumably used to worship them. So I'm guessing the exact same situation is happening here. Because I read on a piece of paper that a Puff Corp, another pharmace pharmaceutical company, had bought this island on a bid for 250 million. I did do a brief good, a bit of googling out of curiosity. Turns out a private island in the Bahamas will set you back up about 60 million. So, okay. 250 million is a big chunk of change for an island. Thank you, the true sticks. But at the same time, I mean, fucking... Puff Corp might have hit, hit themselves on a fucking jackpot if they didn't, if they have indeed found another one of these artifacts and it works on adults which is something that the other artifacts in the first game did not quite explicitly for some reason that was never, never made clear the artifacts only reacted to children hence the incredibly fucked up shit they were doing to children in the first game So why, how, is Virginia here so fucked up? This full-grown woman, she's 20, and yet she's mutated. Shouldn't be possible. So there must be something new. Okay. Uh, how do we get out? Okay, well the good news, on that trip, I managed to find one of these. So I'm a little bit more equipped now. I managed to get myself a bomb. Didn't find much in the way of rope. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some some of this. And then I'm going to go rest and get food. And then I'm going to probably dive into that cave again to see what I can find. You okay, Kelvin? Right. Kelvin, are you, d are you doing this, mate? Are you building these? What is he doing right now? What are you doing? Ah, fish trap. Fish? Any fish? No, maybe it needs to go deeper. Okay, hang on. So let me have a look at this. Can I take that pot that I just retrieved and get some fresh water? What's that? Turtle head. Ugh. Pot, 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 pot. There it is. Equip this cooking pot. Okay, fill it with water. Alright. 
drink or dump out? Can I boil it? Uh, light the fire? Okay. Drink, dump out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sweet. The water is boil. Oh, wow. What's this? Clean water. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you can cook the ramen noodles. This guy isn't a total savage after all. Okay, what do these icons mean? Health goes up. Boiled meat. Okay. Eggnog. Oh, wow. Look at this. How cool. How cool. All right, then. So what am I making? Clean water? Click this. Whoops. What did I just do? Ah. Uh, what's it making? Greg? Hmm? Greg? What did I say? Did I say Greg? What do you want about? Chat keeps saying Greg. Is it broken? <laughs> oh no. Okay, we'll just give it a minute. Uh, in the meantime, I'll go get some. F I'll go get some fish. Oh shit, we do. Ne we do actually need a spear. All right. Fish. the fish damn it I want to go fishing this is beautiful look at this oh, hello Kelvin what you up to mate you getting sticks have I tried spear fishing in real life no not really uh, here in the UK I go to uh, so still waters, so lakes that are pre-prepared, so they're owned and they're stocked. I've, I've yet to go to a place where you're allowed to kill the fish. If you kill the fish in the places that I go to, you get thrown off the fishery. Hang on. All right. Cool, let's go cook these. Okay, fire's gone out. Restock it again with a, a few more sticks. Uh, contextual interface, can't see one. Oh, light the fire first. There we go. I see. Okay, put the stick down. More fire. Stick, 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 stick. Virginia, Virginia has been gone a while. I hope she's okay. Should be good enough. Okay. Have I fucked it up? Is it broken? Oh, ah. Nice. Okay. A clean water. Sweet. Nice. All right, then. That works. Drink or dump out. Can I place this in the turtle shell? No, no, con no contextual overlay. Can I press G to put this in my inventory and just have clean water with me? I get, well, yeah, I can. Fantastic. Okay. Neat. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Should we get some ramen noodles or something? Hang on. Take this. The clean, uh, clean water. Equip... Hold down E. Okay, we put. It. Okay, here we go. I see. So, how does one? Oh, I see. Do I have to select the resort? Yeah, here we go. Okay. So ramen. <laughs> Did you put the pot in there as well, Dingus? You didn't even open it. You just threw the plastic container and the foam and the sachets of flavoring into the boiling water. Okay. There we go. Mmm. -hmm. Tasty, tasty plastic. Okay. Yeah, he's a fucking lunatic. This guy is an absolute lunatic. Speaking of lunatics, what are you doing, Kelvin? Why are you...
I hope your ear gets better, man. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I need to think about making a bigger shelter, especially in this cold. Alright, hang on. So, what do I have available? Hang on. So, just all the basic pop-up shelters without building a full-on house myself yet? Lean to. Small log cabin. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we should probably get one of these. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Okay. If we build it all the way up there, Kevin, they'll never... Uh, Kelvin, they'll never get us. Imagine waking up in the morning, opening the door and yawning, and then just plummeting 30 meters onto rock. Then you'll have a bad day. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a log investment. It's doable though. Ah, oh, there we go. Noodles are ready. Okay, hang on. You want you want any Kelvin? Cooked ramen noodles. Is he gonna again drink them like a savage? Yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's that? Cooking buff. Okay. Sweet. Okay, let's get it filled up with fresh water or something. Fill it up, fill it up with something and take it with me. All right. All right. Pop that down. Okay. What should we make? So according to this, oh, I might not be able to make anything. Jam. Uh, I see there are rested bonuses as well. Uh, how cool is that? Uh, kitchen sink? What the fuck? Kitchen... Liquid battery. What? Lumberjack juice. What the fuck is Greg? Sorry, why are there outlines of human limbs on Greg? No, we're not having that. Oh. Oh, hello. Fuck. I think we've got visitors. Just make boil the water. We do. Oh, fucking hell. What the fucking... What the fuck? Jesus Christ, where did you come from? Bloody hell. What the fuck? What are you doing? Piss off. This that one's got an axe. Jesus, fuck. These things are cool. Well, I've got a secret weapon. Look, he's, he's legit got a fucking tool. Hang on. Ah, you think you're smart by climbing a tree, don't you? Oh, wow. Dodge that. <laughs> well done. What the fuck was that? Motherfucker, like, somersaulted over my defenses. Jesus. Is that a skull? Yes, yeah, skull on her face. Oh, another one. Okay, yeah, this is fucking weird. I thought this would be a rescue helicopter. But it seems to just be circling between campfires. I don't know what this is about. They don't seem to be interested in helping. So someone knows we're down here. Look. They can see that we're here. So why are they, why are they not interested in helping? Yeah, I, I, I've, I've thrown flares. Yeah, yeah. They always fly that way as well. Is that just to lead to go to the next... Does that imply that there's a helipad up there on the mountain? Mysterious. Many questions. Okay. So, I've got plenty of bones. Yeah, we need to sort out a better cabin, don't we? Let me sleep, and then go into one of the caves, I think. I think it's time. We'll go see what we can find underground, shall we? Oh, hello? No time for that. We're under attack, Kelvin. Shit, get the fire back on. Can I? 
Yep, get the fire on quick. Nope, that's lighting that. Never mind, that'll do. Fuck off! I missed! Damn it, switch to my non good arrows. Damn it! Oh god, what the fuck? You've been skewered. At least you're keeping me warm. No, you're not. Okay, get get the fucking fire on quick. Hang on. Gotta freeze to death. Quickly put this here. Quickly light the fire. My bonfire's gone. Kelvin! What are you doing, dingus? Reset the trap when the fire's gone out. Or, you know, reset it now. Right. That trap's quite effective. I need to get more of those. Right. Get my arrows back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck me! Bloody hell. You're costing me armor. What are you? Come back here. Idiot. Okay. So, let's sleep till daylight. Here we go. Get near the fire before we freeze. Oh, no, wait. We're okay in the daylight. Okay, so, check my equipment. I need to find some more rope to make a replacement. Okay, so I've got three stone arrows. I'm going to have to get more of those before we go anywhere. So grab these feathers. I've got some wa uh, water with me. Let's cook some fish so I've got some food before we go underground. Okay, well, I've got two fish here. All right, so E. All right, put the fish on the fire. Fish, bash. I've got some energy drinks as well, don't I? Just get fully prepared. While those are cooking. More sticks. Right. Fuck. Damn it. Raw fish. Wasn't there weren't enough uh, sticks on the fire. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Nice and toast. Alright. Cook the fish. There we go. Right. Press I. Combine. Oh, I like the stones. Damn it. Do we have a stone collection thing? I don't think we do, do we? Gotta manually go get them. Okay, I can, I can do that on my way into the cave. Right. So, water. I've got some here, plenty. Just get the food and then we're good to go. Can you make smaller stones from the big ones? Uh, no, just a repair tool. Okay, there we go. Fish. No, chat, I'm not eating a Greg. Instead, I'll bite the head off this fish. Right. Let's go. So, I'll be back soon, Kelvin. You stay safe. Any arrows that I fired? So, oh, yep, yeah, one arrow. Right. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, sweet. It actually shows you the arrows that you've lodged in them on their icon. Right, let's go. So, down here... Cave entrance, very close. Back soon, Kelvin. So yeah, anyway, for those joining, I hope you're okay. Uh, weirdly, I didn't know that uh, the forest had a seasonal cycle, so we're in the winter now. Despite having only been here for a few days, don't think about it. Shit, freezing. All right. Oh yeah, keep looking for stones. Small stones. To make arrowheads. So where's the cave entrance? 
Yeah. You're not gonna get me, bats. You're not gonna get me. 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 Fuck you. You didn't get me. Right. Oh, fuck that. Gun. That got me. Fucking. Uh, developers, I mean this in the nicest possible way, but fuck off. Ugh. Ugh, fuck. I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> okay, just looking for small stones. It's gonna be too tricky in the snow. Fuck. Okay, I just got to make do. Stone. Skull. Any more? Okay, here we go. So, we went in here last time and got killed. So... We found this laptop with a power source and a light. More of these mercenaries. Dreams and the unconscious. <sighs> Grab some flares. New location discovered. Entertainment bunker. What does that mean, bunker? Can't see where it is yet. Rebreather canister. Uh, ammunition. Light this torch. That's not a torch. Try to stay a bit warmer. Dreams and the unconscious. Some tubing. Corpses. Surrounded by energy drinks. There's a woman on this cover, but I don't think that's Virgi uh, yeah, I don't think that's Virginia. More ammunition. Crunchy a one cheese? Yes, this was the paper that I was trying to read, but it was really difficult because the font is quite tricky to tricky to pick out. It's saying that apparently Yeah, so um what is it? Um Puff Corp is a competing corporation to the Sahara Corporation. This is the sale of the island. The Sunset Times. Shit, I'm getting really cold. Damn it. I struggle to stay warm in here. Okay, the torch does work. Sort of. Yeah, what the fuck is this? I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. There's some sort of strange growth. With corpses lodged in it. On the ceiling and on the walls. Bubbling, oozing, look. <laughs> oh, fuck me. All fingers. Piles of fingers. Jesus Christ. Sorted bloodied limbs. Not eating that. Now when I came through here, look at that. Bodies lodged in the ceiling by these... Creepy sounds through the cave again. Good point, but will the torch keep me warm enough? Where's the torch? No oh way. I might be too cold. Especially if I get wet.
These things don't have eyes. Oh shit, what's it doing? What the fuck is it doing? Is it puking? No, wait, what's wrong with it? What's going on there? I'm freezing. I've never seen that before. What is that? Is that the one without eyes? I don't think it is. It doesn't have arms. Oh my god. What the fuck? It's not a cannibal, it's a mutant. Whoa. Was that thing creating the goo? Oh shit. Exhausted. It landed in the water. Did it drown? <laughs> Fucking hell. Severely mutated. Hold on. Fuck. Drink some of this. Low on hydration. Eat an energy bar. I'm freezing rapidly, which is why my energy levels are so low. Light the torch. And switch off the flashlight. Okay. Uh, how do I switch it off? L. There's that thing. Is that the same thing? So it has no arms. Look. What the fuck? What the fuck? Its entire front is just a one massive mouth. And it looks like it's spewing that goo all over the walls. Preserving organic matter? I, I, I don't know. Got no more armor. Need to be very careful. Life jackets.
I might speak to you soon, but can I just say that I'm, I'm very impressed with not just the overall aesthetic. It feels like the cave systems are so much more, so much more eerie. But thus far, they're not recycling. Like, oh, here's a Virginia, here's an Armsy, you know. We're seeing new shit. Something or did I get jumpy over nothing? I hear movement shuffling on the roof. What? What? Is that a shark? In a cave. Rope. Good. Hold on. Rope. Duct tape. Bones. Make a bit of armor. Bone armor, equip. Better than nothing. Oh, fucking hell! Sorry, that keeps making me jump. I don't like spiders. It is a shark in a cave. More leg. Must be an ocean entrance somewhere. Pick up the raw leg. Equip. Right click. Does it simply ignore it? Seems so. Sorry, is it too dark? You can't see? I'll put the filter back on for you, chat. Sorry. Slippers. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it took the leg. Uh... Slippers. Oh no. Two adult size flip flops and one child size flip flop set of flip flops next to towels. Did some fool come down here and take a dip in a spring? Oh, is that a... It is! Okay. A rebreather set. Nice. Okay. What's this? A watch. Stunner. Dreaming in holograms. Energy drink. A laptop. Two sets of cloths and vodka. MREs. Was this perhaps closer to the surface? Well, the presence of the... Ah. Do you reckon there's an, a way outside? Through there? Did someone swim in here thinking it was like a cove or some shit? I think I've got too much vodka, which is why I didn't take the vodka. Yeah, does it keep, keep going that way? I guess it does. I've got, to, I've got to distract our friend here if I were to take that risk. Or, yeah, that's not a bad idea. 
Hang on. Where is he? There he is. One, two, three. No. Didn't do anything. Okay. Is that a way through or is it this way? I can't tell. It's that way, isn't it? <laughs> Are we doing this? Is there a place to save if this goes fucking wrong? Alright. Rebreather. Where is it? Tarp. Here it is. Right. Am I wearing it? Surely I'm just going to fucking freeze. Yeah, I'm wearing it. Okay. Tarp shelter? Good shout. We'll do a quick shelter. Okay. Put a stick here. Solid. Kind of. Okay. Then take this away. There we go. Right. So, we'll throw in a leg, try to distract Sharky McSharky over here, and then jump in and swim, and see how far we can get. I don't appear to have a leg. I've got this, a rotten arm. Equip. Will he eat this? Throw it as far as I can over there. That wasn't far enough, was it? Let's go get a proper big leg. Let me drop down there. Okay. Big shark. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Everything's fine. You're not going to get bitten in the bum bum by a shark. Everything's fine. My energy levels are rapidly dropping. Everything's fine. Oh shit, fuck. I'm now out of energy. Just keep swimming. Jesus Christ, this goes miles. What the fuck? Oh, I'm outside? I'm outside. What the fuck? I'm outside. Okay, so there was a way outside. Where am I? Okay. Right. Where? Hang fuck. Did that help me? I guess I escaped the cave. Creepy. Very creepy. Okay, so now that I have the rebreather, right. Okay. We can go and investigate the helicopter crash site and that raft with Team B. Where are we? Yeah, we're fairly close to the cave. Okay. Nice, we found a rebreather. So the poor bastards that had it originally, they didn't last very long. Yeah, sorry, I'll take off the filter. Right, so let's go investigate the helicopter that we crashed in. Right. I uh, thank you, Lord Chiantos. Thank you very much, Lord Chiantos. So this is where we landed. Open boxes of all the things that we. Ex oh, hang on a minute. Didn't I find some? I did. I found some of their skin pouches. Let's pop them open. Also, it's getting quite late. It's already ten past eleven. So oh, some pills. What's that there? It's an oyster. Okay. So I'll probably need to wrap this up in a minute, folks. All right.
So, that is the helicopter that we crashed in. So let's get the rebreather on. Hopefully there won't be any sharks. Hopefully. I've still got it on. Here we go. We'll make this quick. Down we go. This is fucking creepy. front of us. Yeah, I don't like this either. Wait, is that it? Okay. We found it. So, this is the wreckage of the helicopter. I presume it was shot down. really see anything of note. It's really banged up. Did anything fall out of it nearby? No. Not that I can see. Nothing obvious, nothing glowing. So why is it marked on my GPS? Okay, let's get back to the shore. Through the windshield? I don't think I can, can I? How do I go up? No. It's not really accessible. Okay, I don't think there's anything of note here. I'm not sure I'm not sure why it's marked on the map. I assume that meant that there was something down there that with the rebreather you could go and investigate, but I guess not. Okay. There we go. Shit. Okay. So, nothing of note down there, but at least we have the rebreather now, so we can access underwater areas of cave systems. Alright. So, we've, on this stream, so Virginia's fucked off, I hope she's okay. Wait, what's that icon there? There's a GPS TV icon pulsing, what's that about? Huh. Also, Virginia's moved. She's no longer next to the lake where she was before. Oh yes, the entertainment bunker. That was it. I wonder what that means. Okay. So, sorry, for those just joining who aren't sure what's going on. So, I've crash-landed on this island. I think I was actually shot down. Only two, well, only one, two survivors. Me and a guy called Kelvin. We've made a small camp over here. We're trying to defend ourselves against the crazed cannibals that seem to be here also. So in addition to the first game, the first forest game, they also appear to be on this island which has recently been purchased by a large pharmaceutical company, a competitor to the first antagonist from the first game. The most intriguing part so far though is that we've encountered a mysterious woman with multiple limbs who keeps following us and she's trying to beckon me to follow her. And the fact that she has multiple limbs makes me suspect that there's an artifact, one of the mysterious plot MacGuffins from the first game, probably on this island. So, still not sure what's going on. Just trying to stay alive, really, but I'm getting ever more capable with more weapons and, yeah, gear. We'll get back to the camp. I certainly need to fort- oh shit, quite a few, quite a few cannibals. 
Yeah, I certainly need to fortify the camp and get it fully sealed. Get a bigger cabin in there for, for sleeping and staying warm. Okay. So here's our camp, just at the base of a, a river mouth. Don't know about the golf carts. Don't know why they're here. They've got like a logo on the front. Maybe there's a resort here? Where's Kelvin? You okay? Yeah, this place is looking a bit rubbish, isn't it? You're right, man. You've been e eating the red mushrooms. Yeah, he's okay. Right. So yeah, we'll probably get yeah get get ourselves a proper building in here, keep it warm, seal this off, and try and get Virginia to come back. Right. She's just up river. Hopefully she's okay. Right, anyway, well, thank you for watching, folks. So I'm going to leave it there and bog off and go to bed. It's already 15 minutes past 11. On the YouTube side of things, I'm trying to deliver uh, Armour Prairie Fire Bullshittery, which is Vietnam. I've got about 40 to 50 issues left, and then I should have it done. So please give me a few more days, and I'll try to deliver it and then get on with the next bullshittery. Right, okay. Oh, we're already about halfway through a battery. Okay, hang on. That's rubbish. Change it, please. What the fuck? That's much better. Thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you again soon. I hopefully see you tomorrow. Have a good evening and we'll continue the adventure and the, therefore the mystery. Yeah, soon. Right. Let me have a look and see if any of my clan mates are doing anything you might want to watch. Hang on. We'll better save it before I forget this time. Hang on. Save there. Right. Who's doing what? Let's open up Twitch. Are any of my clan mates doing anything interesting? So... Oh, this yeah, this could be good. Hang on a second. So Alistair is doing Soma. So another another um sort of immersive horror thing. So first person horror. I'll leave you with him then. So um yeah, this is Alistair doing Soma. You might enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely, lovely evening. <laughs>